Today on Forbes, Facebook took more than $1 million for ads sowing election lies. Just six days before the 2024 presidential election, Facebook was running hundreds of ads from pages that falsely claim that the upcoming election may be rigged or postponed. Facebook parent company Meta's ad library shows that the pages behind the ads have paid the company more than $1 million to run them. They racked up a bill of more than $350,000 for ads run in just the past week. The ads were live as of Wednesday. One of the ads features a stylized image of Vice President Kamala Harris with devil horns and an American flag burning behind her. Other ads feature images of Harris and VP candidate Tim Walls interposed with post-apocalyptic scenes and pictures of Walls and President Biden mashed up with images of prescription drugs spilling out of bottles. One features an apparently AI-generated image of a smiling Harris in a hospital room preparing to give a screaming child an injection. Another features images of anti-vaxxer and third-party candidate RFK Jr. Some of the ads question whether Harris will remain in the race and suggest that America is, quote, headed for another civil war. Meta's election rules prohibit posts containing, quote, misinformation about the dates, locations, times, and methods of voting, and, quote, misinformation about whether a candidate is running or not. And its ad rules prohibit ads that, quote, call into question the legitimacy of an upcoming or ongoing election. Many of the ads direct viewers to a page where they can purchase writings by Jim Rickards, a fringe economist turned conspiracy theorist and proponent of the New World Order conspiracy theory. Others direct people to a page falsely claiming that a, quote, uniparty will win the election for Big Pharma. Meta spokesperson Ryan Daniels said, quote, We're reviewing the ads and we'll remove any that violate our policies. Rickards, the fringe economist, did not respond to a request for comment by press time. Forbes identified the false ads through the Meta Ad Library, a live repository of ads run on the company's platforms, which provides details about political advertisers and how much money they spend. Forbes did not find parallel ads in Google's ad library. TikTok and X have ad libraries in Europe, where they are required by law, but keep their U.S. advertisers and their ad spend secret. Meta has a fraught history with election misinformation. In 2016, Russia's Internet Research Agency used both ads and so-called organic posts on Facebook to manipulate and divide U.S. voters, steering them toward the candidacy of Donald Trump. In 2020, Facebook and WhatsApp were widely used by disgruntled supporters of former President Trump to spread so-called Stop the Steal conspiracy theories and orchestrate the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Since 2021, Meta has dramatically reduced the amount of political posts that it serves to users, which may increase the power of paid political ads in reaching Facebook users with a candidate's or party's message. This year, Vice President Kamala Harris has dramatically outspent former President Donald Trump on Facebook ads. In 2020, Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, Priscilla Chan, donated more than $400 million to nonpartisan election integrity groups, including the Center for Election Innovation and Research and the Center for Tech and Civic Life. The groups are focused on improving election infrastructure and do not endorse candidates. Zuckerberg does not appear to have continued his election integrity giving in 2024. For full coverage, check out Emily Baker White's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.